Glory to God. It is important to forgive men their trespasses. Amen. You have been forgiven of your sins. Hallelujah. Now, actively, just say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I forgive every person that has trespassed against me, every person that has done me wrong, that has hurt me. Remember in Psalms 147 and 3, it says, He heals the broken in heart and bind of up and binds up their wounds. Amen. He bind of up your wounds. Jesus loves you and he wants you to be blessed. Unforgiveness will send you to hell. It's it's heavy. It'll send you to hell. But God, God is asking you to forgive now to close that door. Close that door. Don't say, well, so-and-so hurt somebody. I'm going to hate him forever. Don't say that. Repent. You don't hate anybody forever. That sends you to hell. Forever is eternal. That's eternity. You don't do that. You love eternally. You bless eternally. You never hate eternally. Forgive. Forgive them. Even if you don't know how, you're like, I don't even know what that looked like. Well, this is what it sounds like. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I forgive everybody that has ever trespassed against me. Every story I've heard or read or known about of somebody hurting somebody else, I forgive them of all their trespasses. Every hurt that I don't even know about or I don't even remember, I forgive them their trespasses. I I forgive (coughs) every wrong. Pardon me, my spit got caught. I forgive every wrong that was committed against me. I forgive the man that raped me. I forgive the man and the woman that assaulted my sister and made me watch. I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive every trespass. I forgive the man that raped the woman in my gangway. I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive the men that are going into the dollar stores, raping women, assaulting them, putting their hands on them. I've heard reports of people doing that. See, just hearing a report like that, some of us are saying, well, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to hurt them. I'm going to kill them. And they go there just for that purpose. Don't do that. If you a man upright, pray for that. Pray, Pray for those stores. Pray for those places. Pray the spirit of God into those places that whenever anybody goes into that place, they'll feel the power of God. They will feel the power of God. They will feel the power of God. Pray that they won't be able to sin in that place. Not in it, not in front of it, not on its parking lot, not in its neighbor's stores, not in the houses near it or around it. Put like a five mile radius around every one of those stores. Ain't no sin happening here. This belongs to God. Remember, you are the house of God. You are the temple of the most high. Here, your body, mind, soul, Will, emotions, imaginations. God makes his home in you. You carry the very love, power, and strength of God. We are to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. That, That is the redeemed by the blood of Jesus. You say what God tells you to say. And he's going to tell you to say, I love you. Jesus loves you. Do not hurt anyone. Do not hurt anyone. I love you. Begin to pray for your neighbors. Don't discount them. Don't shoot bullets at citizens. You're there to protect them. Don't protect a building more than you protect a person. You love on them. You pray for them. You can surround the building because that's your job. But don't shoot the people. You'll be held accountable for that. There are people peacefully protesting. Allow them to walk. And as you are walking, people begin to pray. Pray the will of God. Pray in Jesus' name. Say the Lord's Prayer over and over again. The Lord's Prayer will bring about peace. Peace. 
If you are walking down the street saying the Lord's prayer, then how can you be disruptive? How can you be causing destruction if all you are doing is speaking the truth by saying the Lord's prayer? Which leads us not into temptation and delivers us from evil. It allows you to be surrounded by the presence of God and to not commit errors and wrongs. It leads you not into temptation and delivers you from evil. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Trust God. Trust Jesus. Jesus is your way out of poverty and lack. Amen. You're listening to LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. My name is Kathy Brox. Jesus loves you, beloved. Amen. Jesus is Lord.